This is Computer Insider, your daily technology fix with host Bob Pritchard. I couldn't believe the news last week when Shaw made an announcement that they were looking to reduce their headcount by some 650 people. Shaw is to Western Canada as Rogers and Bell are here. Specifically, they're in the business of supplying cable TV products, internet, and phone services. The problem that they're all facing is that consumers are dropping cable TV, moving instead to receiving their television shows and video services from the internet, and dumping traditional phone services, primarily for cell lines and or IP-based phone service. Fundamentally, the real issue is the cost that these companies charge for their products. It's not uncommon for consumers to see combined bills running well into the $300 per month range when those who are more astute can save hundreds per month by cutting the cord on both cable TV and traditional phone service. Last year, 22 million consumers in North America said goodbye to cable TV. That's up a third from 2016, while almost 60 million other consumers are expected to dump their pay TV products this year. The picture is even bleaker for traditional phone service, where reports say that more than half of households have already completely cut the cord, and only about 6.5% still exclusively use a hardwired phone. So what should these companies do? Well, the obvious. Cut the cost to consumers. The cable companies still own the absolutely best internet delivery vehicle, so they should shift their product offerings and make it easy for consumers to pull their TV and video from the web. After all, it's better to get a small piece of a really big pie than to have to expand your HR department to work out politically correct programs to encourage workers to find other employment. Let's hope that the telcos wake up and smell the coffee. Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. You've been listening to Computer Insider, your daily technology fix with host Bob Pritchard. You can reach Bob by email at bob at computerinsider.org.